Hey guys, Gator here. And today I'm going to show you how to use course play to work a non-defined area on your map. This is the Oklahoma map by American Eagles Modding. And on this map they give you three hay fields. Okay? They're not strictly defined fields in, in the true sense. They are just open areas with grass, mobile grass planted. So in order to have a worker work those, you have to have your course play courses set up. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. The first thing I want to do is let you take note. I'm kind of starting in the middle here, all right, fairly close to the center. And the reason I do that is so you want to make sure that you have the ability when you turn that last corner to line up with your start point. If you been a course play user that's common knowledge it's common sense if you were just starting out with course play then you you need to remember that all right so what we're going to do turn on our hud here and we want to go into the field work mode and we're going to start a recording when you're going to do a course play to work a defined area you want to make sure that the first step is you start in the middle the second step is you need to define the outer boundary that is most important because it, this this will not work if you don't have your outer boundary defined all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our recording here all right so we started a recording so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exterior boundary of this hayfield it's not, I mean, you can really work with your GPS to make this be like perfect. However, um, for, for our purposes today, we don't actually have to be that exact. You know, if you wanted to get everything, you could, you know, and but that's not, that's not something that we are going to concern ourselves with today. We're just going to keep recording this here we are working the outer boundary or the outer edge of this of this uh, this area with it with the grass the mobile grass and we're coming up here to the end so we're gonna make this last turn and make sure that we are lined up with our start point all right so there we go we'll slow down there all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. We're going to get fairly, fairly close to being lined up. Okay. And we are going to stop. Now, that right there is step one. All right, that is step one. Now, you're going to save this. All right, so what we can do is we can save this as like, uh, this is Hayfield 2, right? So you want to go like... Um, uh, Hayfield 2 uh, boundary and you can delete this one here in a moment but right now it's not what we're gonna do alright so now if we close that you don't have anything set up okay you can go Hayfield 2 boundary and load it there it is alright so now if you will come up to your course generation button and click that if you look at the field edge path it gives you the currently loaded course that's why it's really important you have to define your exterior boundary now we have our working width that's good current vehicle starting direction automatic uh, we can do one headland that's fine now if we come up here we'll generate the course okay so we've got our course generated. Everything is good to go. All right. We can save that. Now we can save this as say um, Hayfield to whoops mo. There. Now we can delete all that. Let's go over here to the manage courses. You have Hayfield to mo right there. So if you click on that, there you go. So we are going to uh, back up and we'll kind of get him lined up a little bit.
Drive course, start at first waypoint. We'll drive the course. We want him to stop at the last trigger. Okay, so let's turn our HUD off so you guys can get an idea. Now, if you watch, he'll come up here and he will stop. And course play, it starts in the beginning of the implement, the kind of front, beginning, middle of the implement. So you're not really seeing anything here as far as any grass on the ground. And the reason is, is because this is a, this is like a brand new deal. It hasn't had any time yet. So what we're going to do is, is we'll come up here, we'll stop him, okay, we'll get out, let's just speed up time, let's get us some good grass going, we'll go a couple days, we'll do three or four days, I, I do believe that should be sufficient, we'll get one more day here. And there we go. All right, so let's get back in. And we will drive the cores at the next closest, right? Yeah, nearest. That gonna work? Okay, so there we go. It normally takes about a week just to uh, start seeing grass results. So there we go, you guys. There you go. That is how you use course play to work and have one of your workers work a non-defined area on your map. Okay? It's it's that simple. That simple. So don't be intimidated by course play. Get in there, use it, play with it. Work some non-defined areas, work some fields, you know, and go from there. You you you'll find that you will start using course play more and more than GPS. That's my experience. All right. So that's all I've got. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment area below. We all know where that is. Um, you guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it. Hit the thumbs down. Don't like it, okay? Uh, if you got any comments, you know, or anything you'd like to see me make a video on course play, then go ahead and leave those in the comments as well, and uh, we'll get those knocked out, okay? So I'm going to speed this up, and uh, that's all I got, man. I'm going to finish this field out, and uh, you guys take care. Remember, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and we will see you guys on the next run.